I got up this morning and my wife had already started packing things away. She put them in boxes before she left to work. We had had this long-standing discussion about clearing things out and making sure there's enough space for new things in our life. Making room can be a challenge sometimes. I mean, when you think about it, people are busy, you know? You're always moving, you're going somewhere. There's an emergency to be taken care of. There's jobs we've got to get to, bills got to get paid. Well, the process started for me. I started packing things up, putting them away in boxes, folding things, throwing away other stuff, and even found some things that I really liked. Which is difficult because you don't want to put those things away. You've had them, and it's as if you couldn't live without them. You need them. But on the other hand, you gotta make choices. You've gotta make room. Room for living. So I put some of those things away. There were other stuff, things I didn't like. I didn't even know why I had them, actually. They were just sitting around, and I guess just because I've always had them, I just kept them, stored them away, took up space in my life. And next thing I know, I didn't have much moving space. My home was full, full of things I didn't really need. So, started taking it down to storage, packing out the storage, making room. So these holiday seasons are going to be exciting because it reminds us to make room for God. Making room for God means there will be changes in our life, how we live, what we live for, the choices we make. That's the exciting thing about moving God in. This is the story of God. His dynamic movements towards us. His chasings. He's coming after. Even from the very garden, it was God who came after us. The prophets actually said that when He comes again, that His name will be Emmanuel. Right? Emmanuel. God encamped among us, literally camped in the center of us. In fact, that's what Revelation says, that he will be the center of his people. This will be an exciting season as we go through our new series, Living Room, to see what God does in our space as we make him space. The best part about all of this moving business is that you begin to recognize, even as you let go of things, that you really, really do cherish. Some things are worth making room for.